So family, set K button here. Today I'm going to show you how to design this. All right, let's start. Now number one, let's create the document size. Control N. Now if you're watching my video, I want you to scroll down and click on more. And then this is the link. I want you to click on it. You're going to have access to quality PSD files. I have graphic design course. Now I keep on adding more packages. And then I'm going to use the dimension 2500. And then for the height 2500. I'll set the resolution to 300. And then I'll leave you at pixels. Call it church flyer. I also go to view, go to new guards layout, set it to six across and click on ok now i want to start with the text i'll click on t i'll go and click on the text to type at this point and then go and pick this believers i'm going to leave everything in the description for you to use click on it here i'll go and click on the move tool and then i'll come go to windows go to character and then we are going to use impact for it also the fonts i'm going to leave the link in the description for you um regular and then the font size you are going to use 78 drag it in the middle let's go to paragraph and click in the middle here middle aligned Control t you want to keep it in the middle there like that okay let's go back to character and then you also want to make sure the track in it so make it italics and then also make it all caps let's set it to anyway you can choose any um color we want right now it's not really important Control j to duplicate it let's close it click on it Control j to duplicate it and then hold shift and drag it down now you want to go and pay conference double click on it and then paste it there also we are going to use the exact same information for it so it's not really now let's put the two of them in a group control let's call it believers and then let's double click it now we are going to um great color overlay and then let's go set it to normal set your opacity to 100 click on the gradient double click this side and let's give it b four three one zero zero click on okay okay here double click on this side give it f d c five zero zero and then click on okay here okay here and then let's see i don't like the way it looks like so we got to work on it a little bit let's go to the style set it to linear and then also the angle here 34 here let's set it to 32 let's see so you can see how it's coming off nicely we also want to drag it all the way here maybe let's make it reverse reverse just make sure the reverse is off all right so the scale let's set the scale to 25 all right and then let's drag it there like that we want to at least cover the e over here this side i think this is better click on ok now let's click on t and let's type there and then let's go and pick the rest of the detail joyful paste it there but we have to use one font for it this one as well don't want to use a particular font throughout i'm going to use back to black also make sure it's not all caps make sure it's not italics okay let's keep it italics let's keep it italics the font size let's set it to 57 enter and let's give it a peculiar color ff3131 reddish color Control h let's drag it to the middle all right and then drag it down now this looks 2d we want to give it a little 3d effect and we have to create it from scratch and so let's double click it so that it can stand out a little bit now it looks ordinary it doesn't really stand out and so what we are going to do is let's go to inner glow and then let's um let's set it here to let's see color dodge okay and then um let's let the pass it to 65 there about and then let's come down here to choke let's set choke to 14 and then let's set size to 8 can i can already feel the effect in there and that is great now let's come to this side let's set it to this and then the range to 50 digital to zero we are done with it now let's come back to drop shadow click on it and then we are going to keep here normal um let's see i could pick a color if i want to if i let's pick a color let's pick five seven one c one c okay and then opacity let's set the opacity to 100 the angle let's give the angle 90 this let's give it 13 percent i can see it just came down a little bit this is too much let's make it 19 
create this is also too much this is too much of the size let's give it 10 just like that um it looks like a 2d a 3d effect you know even though it's not and then we need to give it another drop shadow again so click on it click here to push it up let's click on this one now okay click on this one now now uh, this one we are going to set it to multiply all right and then we're going to set this side to color black and then your opacity let's set it to 73 the angle is still leaving at 90 the distance let's make it five and then the spread let's make it 44 and then um let's see uh the size let's make it zero okay now it's in the you can feel it a bit it's in there and this one we'll, we'll leave it like this let's click on it okay so this is great yeah this is great let's close this close this now this let's put it in a group again and then let's call it believers conference now i want you to come and pick your polygon and that this one let's drag it in there and release it and then let's just you know release it like that there and then hold out and click the you can see the arrow pointing down click on it i want you to go to the blending modes and set it to multiply drag it somewhere here now i want you to duplicate it and i also want you to clip it to it again okay now this one let's drag it down let's see great now this is too much uh let's go back into it let's click on the gradient overlay and then let's just drag it there okay now let's type 2023 you want to drag it outside the whole thing let's open it up and then let's do go for impact i am p impact regular let's set the font size to 13 and then let's make it zero here t here and then that and then let's make it let's let's leave the color like that for now let's right click there and then let's choose that and then let's just hold shift and then just draw it like that drag it underneath it now let's double click it and let's give it this color code zero zero nine cc zero now let's click on the 2023 let's make it color white also let's go to character let's give it a particular font uh, i think 13 is good yeah 13 is good let's resize this and let's zoom in also you want to click on this and go and pick polygon create a new layer and just create something something like that Ctrl T and then just pull it like that. Now you want to drag it in there. Double click it and then pick the same color. Okay, let's see. Vertical. Okay, so now this is good. Now let's select both of them. Ctrl E to merge them together into one particular layer. Oh, now let's click on this two and then I want you to hold Ctrl and click on this one click on your move to click um this and click this now let's drag it up a bit okay let's put it in the group and let's call it 2023 and then let's drag it up somewhere here okay now i think this the color looks a little dead let's go in there and let's see whether we can add something to it. let's add levels to it and clip it to it let's see okay so let's drag it on top of that and then hold alt and clip it to it now let's see what we can do if i let me drag it in there let's see i could drag it to the middle there
okay so i feel like this is better i can see the whole thing in there so it's good and we are done with it let's put everything in the group and then let's call it theme now the images let's bring the images let's bring um what should we start with let's start with this one do i give in the and then let's start with um this one drag him in there as well i'm gonna drag him underneath it and i'm gonna pull him somewhere here all right i'm gonna bring this one and i'll drag him behind okay then i'm gonna bring this and i'll drag him there well, I like to drag him to the latter part. Okay, so that is it. I'll put it in a group and I'll call it images. Now, let me, let me drag it underneath. So, now, guys, what we are going to do is we're going to make it black and white. And to do that, I'm going to the images. I'll first pull hue and saturation, I'll clip it to it, and then I'll drag the saturation all the way down. The second thing is curves. I'll bring curves too as well. I'll clip it to it and then I'll click here and then I'll drag here down. Awesome. The next thing is I'll bring in levels, clip it to it and then I'll leave here zero. I'll bring here one. 0.24 and then leave this also the same way and then one more thing i'll bring in brightness and contrast i'll clip it to it i'll just drag the contrast up a bit to 41 i'll click over here on the mask and then ctrl i now i'll click on my brush go to soft one brush and then reduce your opacity if I just send the opacity all the way to around 70 something, make sure caps lock is also off. And what we are doing is that we want to brighten the face a bit. So set here to color white and brighten the face a bit. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so that is it. And so now we can put everything in the group and still call it image. And then, of course, let's bring in the names too. I feel like the theme should still go down, so I'm going to drag the theme down a bit. Um, let's bring in the names as well. I'm going to pull um, this one. And then I'm going to type the and then paste it there. Now, I'll go and set it to color black. And then also, I'll set the font to Montserrat. Good, Montserrat. But once you what we are going to set it to medium, and then let's set the font size to around eight. The tracking zero, and then make sure it's caps and then also italics. And that is it. Let's click here and let's drag it. Let's set it to bold. Let's see. Okay, now it stands out. Let's duplicate it. Control J to duplicate it and then bring it down. And then let's pick post and then let's paste it there. Now for the host, let's click on it and then let's pick a different color. Let's pick FF8 F00. Enter. Okay. Let's put it in a group and then let's call it one. Duplicate it and then drag it here now let's go and pick the rest of the details and so guys you just have to repeat the same process that is just the same process so i'm going to speed this one up okay so 
we are done now one thing is we only want this one to be middle aligned or centered and then this one you want it to let's go let's go to two three four now this particular one you want to click on it and then the retard you want to bring it somewhere there and then let's move it like that and then three let's drag three down okay and let's also move the name there like that okay and then the one let's move one there okay let's move two here a bit okay and then four in fact four i feel like we should drag four down more more okay let's drag four down more and four has to also the name has to go to this side all right so i feel like this is great we can push it up everything up ah, it's getting better it's getting better it's getting better and then put it in the group let's call it names we are done with the names we are done with the um the images let's bring in the ministers too so the ministers i'm going to pick rectangular to and then create something like that then i'm going to double click it and then choose this color code zero zero t f f f all right i'm going to duplicate it again the one underneath it i'm going to click it and then i'm going to just exactly and then drag it that way I'm going to double click it and then just pick that color enter okay so i'm going to type here okay so <laughs> i'm going to type minister benjamin and then color white of course and then i'm going to move it here Control t where are you Ctrl T, there you are. Right click it and then counterclockwise. Move to and then move it there. There. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here, I'm going to click here. And then, in fact, let me. I'm going to click on the mini star and then let's go, let's, let's give it. I think that font size is good. So. I'm going to select these two and then I am going to drag them up that way and make this one around six also I'm going to hold out and click here click on it and then choose that okay I also want to go and pick this one drag him in there my guys I only want from his head to his shoulders in there everything else is not really important unless the client wants me to keep his full body in there that's what I'm gonna do I'll drag him in and then hold out and then clip it to it in fact I'll drag him down more I also want equal spacing here equal spacing there so that it doesn't look too awkward now his face look a little more darkened so i'm going to clip exposure to it clip it to it and then just drag the exposure up okay and i don't want the exposure to affect the what's it called the background so i'm going to hold control and i'm going to click on the image and i'll delete the background of the exposure and i'll give it a new exposure a new layer okay so now you can see all right it works only on the background a new mask put it in a group i'll call it one and then i'll open it again give it a very thin bar like that double click it and then maybe choose 
and then maybe choose ff 8 orange color drag it there in the middle there like that two drag it there and then i'll give it ff 8 f that means i need to make sure the background also matches with it so i'll click there and then i'll come and click there good and then this one i'm going to double click it and pick that all right so let's uh we can click here duplicate it and then drag the name there too not really a big deal not really a big deal not really a big deal i'll call it two duplicate it and then hold ctrl h let's drag it there um double click it and then come down a bit oh which color should we give it yeah come down a bit and then the one underneath the let's that is good but then this one let's click it and then let's choose yellow Now let's select and put all of them in a group. Let's call them guest speakers. Control T and then Control H, and then you want to drag the whole thing to the middle. You just want to use your eyeball to ascertain that. The other thing is that that particular one, Control T, Control. Let's go to skew. You want to skew it like that exactly and then drag them there wow some now let's type there and then let's pick that let's paste it there open it and then we are using mont Syrah for it um let's make it color black for now i promise you will change the color to white again the font size let's use 20 and then the tracking let's use zero for the tracking italics caps of course color white but let's make it semi bold for now okay and then let's click on our move to control h control t let's drag it to the middle some way this has also been the middle so that nothing gets distorted okay so this one in the middle too but i feel like as you can see it you can see this one is there this one is just sticking out too we have to find a way to push this there by keeping this in the middle and then keeping the guest in the middle of it oh for what you're going to do is you're going to make the guests a little bit much more smaller to keep them there okay so september that i'll double click it and i'll select 20 feet i'll make it extra bold i'll select first i'll make it extra bold great i'll duplicate it and then bring it down and then i'll go and pick the time and then i'll double click it and then i'll paste it there and then i'm also going to leave it like that for now let's go pick rectangular shape and then let's drag it from there all the way to here and drag it down like that okay let's make it gradient overlay so let's drag it underneath everything double click it let's go to gradient overlay now we are leaving here normal opacity 100 let's the colors let's click on the gradient there double click this side and then 7c 2 
F zero zero. Okay. Okay. Double click there. E C B four zero one. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make it reverse. Let's see. No, I'm not gonna make it reverse. Um, let's make it reverse. Let's make here radar. Yes. Now we can see. You can see this point. There is nothing there. And so we need to continue tweaking it until we get something there. I'm going to keep the angle 32 and then this side 30. Let's click this as well to bring it there. Let's see. Okay, now let's take it off. Let's keep dragging it until you find something. Alright, there it is. There it is. Now let's drag it towards this side. You can see it here. Uh, of course, let's pull it off a bit. Enter. All right, now let's go. Let's set these colors to color white. Amazing. Okay, and then let's also see how we can put it in the middle. Let's put this one down. Okay. Uh, control, control. This in the middle. Everything feels perfect. I'll put it in a group and then I'll call it date. Now I also want to bring in a few things we have we failed to see. Let's click this. Now this is just for artistic purposes. Great, let's set the color to color black and then let's drag it there duplicated and then drag it there and that is basically it that is basically it guys that is basically it we also want to bring in the location so a few details that is important um, Sunday school Thanksgiving 8 a.m. let's paste it there drag it out of it in fact let's make that color not too black so around that side is good and the font so we are still using Montserrat guys let's use extra bold and um, the font size we are using is 30 um, let's use 14 for the font size ctrl H ctrl T let's pull it there in the middle there drag it up okay and you also want to double click it and select 8 am let's go there and let's set it to medium all right duplicate it and bring it down and then let's bring in don't mess blah 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 then let's paste it there now we're doing the same thing the font size let's give it a 13 let's see no let's give it a 9 great and then let's let's see what we are going to do let's double click it and then from this side let's make it medium also end at this point let's make it medium great control H control T control H it's in the middle perfectly amazing now you want to duplicate it and drag it somewhere up your control T and then that one 90 plus 90 degree anti-clockwise control H and then that means you have to drag it somewhere to the middle here as you can see already it looks interesting and amazing the contrast there is epic you need to pick this for inquiries the and then let's paste it there now we need to come to the tracking here set it to 700 and also we will need the numbers to and also we need the numbers to stand out so we need to make it bold 
and that is it that is it so i'm going to put it in a group i'll call it um venue contact we need to bring in the logo and to do that we need to select this type copy it and then paste it somewhere there now you are still using Montserrat as usual let's make it extra bold so that it can be visible really well contrast nice one and then the font size what should we give it let's give it nine as well and then the tracking here let's set it to zero and then also over here the lead let's set it to nine and then if possible let's go to paragraph and make it left aligned drag it up a bit more drag it up a bit more and then duplicate it and then come down and then pick present as well and then paste it there the present has to be really really small because i don't want to take much of the emphasis as well so i set it to five then i will boost the tracking to 700 also okay and then maybe pull it let's go pull it uh, um, let's zoom in okay let's move it up and then i'll bring in the logo where you are let's bring in the logo in there and then let's all right now guys at this point if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so because i come your way with a lot of amazing content let's call it um logo that i don't want you to miss out on click on my move to all right i really don't want you to miss out on all the contents that i will continue to bombard you with and so guys please subscribe let's let's make it quite much smaller please subscribe to it and then also like this video just to help me reach more audience just like it comment like it comment subscribe you know um let's open the logo and then let's drag it underneath everything all right so like it comment and subscribe like it comment and subscribe and i think i should drag logo underneath theme awesome now here comes the thing all right so we are going to click on one two three or let's leave the uh, let's uh, those ones too as well the theme as well the logo as well only the image we are going to leave but the rest yeah 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 and even the contact in fact this one we are going to select this this and this for the conference let's leave that one out ctrl t and then we are going to move it up like that move it up like that guys you feel me let's move it up like that <laughs> enter all right all right let's push it up more awesome awesome and then let's now close it but then that means that we need to drag some few stuff down and i'm talking about the names uh this one is good two has to come down a bit three has to come down more and even here as well and four has four is better four is good okay four is good i think two has to come down a bit more all right so we are better now now let's fix the um uh, the, the the glue the glue so I'll create a new layer i'll come to this side and pick this color code f f d five b six all right and then increase the size of my brush a bit hit here no no it's too small let's go back let's add it to 100 percent let's hit here awesome now we are going there we are going to set it to screen and ctrl t let's just resize it now what you're going to do is you're going to move it there duplicate it and drag it there duplicate it and drag it there duplicate it and drag it there 
so that is the glue for you if i just duplicate it click there duplicate it and drag it there if you do it's already there one two three four five all right so let's put it in a group let's call it glow now let's work on the background uh, so the background we are going to start off with this let's put the mountain drag it all the way in there and then let's just release it somewhere here and i'm going to drag it all the way underneath it awesome reduce it a little bit awesome somewhere in the background that is great and also let's go and bring in that all right and then let's give it a mask so i want to concentrate only on the ones underneath it so i'm going to pick my brush i'll set it to color black and then increase the size make sure my caps lock is off i'll clean this side clean this side clean this side now let's give in some levels i'm i'm using levels because i want to bring some sweet color out of this particular color and so that is what i'm going to use i'm going to leave here the same way i'm going to set here to 139 okay now already you've seen this the colors have started popping up nicely that is great and i'm going to use this to tweak it all right okay you can see the colors uh better now way better and i'm going to clip it to it that way this mount <laughs> this mount is there kind of so true and i'll duplicate it now the one underneath it i'm going to drag it up i'll double click it and then invert yep and then go and then bring in my levels as well clip it to it and then the levels i'm going to set this side to 181 yep and then also play with this one too but i think this is better great and i'll click there and then try and see if i could bring in some mountains as well so i'm gonna clean here i'm gonna clean there behind it all right so that is it with the background the, the bluish color now let's type in 2023 and of course we are going to use impact impact regular and you're going to set the font size to 207 and then the color let's click there let's set it to ffbc85 enter and then the tracking let's set the tracking to zero and basically let's leave everything like this here here or clicked on and then let's click on the move to the let's move him up let's move him up now let's also try and rotate him like that all right so i'll go to my opacity and then um reduce it up a little bit to around 70 give it a mask as well and let's pick my brush set it to color black and then let's see which side we are going to clean i would like to clean this side because it's glowing here so i want that to show um this side also is glowing i like that to show now oh, that side is glowing i like that to show there's glowing there's glowing also like that to show and this side okay i didn't put any glue here so i might as well just bring in a little bit of it and then let's go and bring in our ribbon this one drag it in there let's zoom out and drag it here and then let's drag it up uh -huh. Okay, 
enter right awesome but the color combination doesn't really go and so we need to develop a different alternative and to do that we need to go to the hue and saturation click on it and clip it to it and then the hue we need to drag the hue up a little bit maybe to around 22 and that is all also we need to make it more realistic and so to do that we need to go back to the ribbon go to filter let's go to um blur let's go to motion blur and then let's set it here to angle here to 36 great and then let's set the distance to 134 enter great now let's go and pick our pen tool let's set this side to path i want you to click here and i want you to click there like that and click no 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 we did it wrong click <laughs> click there like that all right something like this right something like this is better and i want you to now right click it and then uh let's see nothing there like that let's go here click to shape and then let's click on rectangular to let's make sure this is off let's go to stroke set it to color black for now increase the size okay so around 48 is better now i want you to double click it and let's give it these colors as well let's go to gradient overlay normal 100 um, percent let's click there let's double click here let's give it b four three one zero zero okay let's double click there f d c five zero zero want to click okay no key okay here and then i want you to now let's see let um, see reverse let's reverse it let's see good 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 now you can see a little bit over here that means that we can push it here this way and to show i also don't want it like that i want it linear interesting let's click on reverse okay uh, something like that it's not bad it's not bad right it's not bad but I, I think we should go okay so i think this is better but i still want to click on my move tool and drag it down a bit mm -hmm. and then also the contour doesn't stand out well so i'll go to it and then double click on it and then click on outer glow and then um shut the I mean the size and the spread everything down all right so play with it play with it you come up with something interesting and guys that is it but i can't i can't see <laughs> this one there so this one is actually hiding let's let's click on it and then let's set this color black and then let's clean that side yeah clean that side okay click on it and then let's clean that side as well and so we are done with the background let's put everything in a group and let's call it background bg uh, click on the topmost one Control shift alt and then e merge everything together right click it and then convert to smart object and then let's go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and we want to do some few adjustments over there go to basic and then you want to drag basic up to six or five the exposure just a little bit no yeah zero point um one zero and then the contrast if i let me type over the contrast three the highlights let me turn the highlights to four and then the whites let's say the whites to five and then the blacks let's give it more blacks right let's set it to minus eight and then the clarity let's boost the clarity to two 
and then let's go to the vibrance let's boost the vibrance to three and then let's see what else what else what else let's click on okay now let's go and then let's set it to soft light and ladies and gentlemen this is how you create something like this now if you love this video please hit the bell icon and subscribe to this channel i love you guys see you in the next video